Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Eric Zilla here with yet another quick tour review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new movie monster series, Monster X. As you can see right here, we have a very menacing yet badass looking image of Monster X himself, looking very much, as I said, badass. As you can see right there, Monster X, Monster X. Looking inside, some random information right there. And then we get a bit of a little backstory on uh, Monster X right here, which is basically a retelling of the events that happened in Godzilla Final Wars. We have a little white silhouette of Monster X himself. Then we have this right here, and I gotta say, um, I really love the new movie Monster Series tags. Especially with like how they have like this whole thing. Like reminds me of like how they did it with uh, Ultra Amphibious, with like some of the tags having like a little slant on it. Like it, it really adds a lot to these to these tags, you know, they're pretty cool. Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it with the tag. So anyway, here's the figure itself. It looks pretty damn on point when it comes to Monster X. But of course, when it comes to some uh, Godzilla fans, you know, they have to nitpick on one little thing, and that is the paint job. Which I have to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, are you new at collecting Bandai figures? Like, don't get me wrong, I will have to agree. There is a lack of paint job on the figure itself, but at the same time, it is not something that's gonna like cause you to go like ape shit, you know what I mean? There's still some to really give it the appearance of Monster X, and that's pretty much all that you really need, really. I gotta admit though, when it comes to some parts of the paint job, it does uh, depict Monster X really well. Uh, as you can see right here, we have like a more, like it has like a, like a yellowish, like a light yellowish grayish white around for the bonish parts of the body. And honestly, I really like that depiction of it. It's really nice. And uh, as you can see right there, of course, I have some red dots for the eyes right there, which are really nice. That looks really menacing right there. Of course, the whole body is of a black plastic. So um, yeah, everything else was just sort of painted on. The detail and sculpt of the figure is on point. Like just everything on the figure looks really nice. Like this legit is Monster X, like legit. The armored plating on the arms here, the biceps, the legs, really just overall really nice detail all around on the figure itself, which I gotta admit is really nice. See though, like when it comes down to it though, this the detail other than that is really, really good. When it comes to the articulation here, it has your standard humanoid sort of articulation. But of course, uh, there's also one additional articulated point, which I feel is very unnecessary. Um, but as you can see right here, the obviously the arms, the arms rotate, but they're kind of stiffed due to the um, armored plating right here on the bicep right there, and it rubs up on the plating right here. This one here, we have the tail, of course. The tail is uh, obviously one that's gonna have an articulation point. As you can see right here, the face also articulates now a lot of people say it's the head but when you really think about it this whole thing right here is the head so it's like this is the face and like look at that man like that's <laughs> oh boy that's that's kind of that's kind of goofy man i'm not gonna lie with it bro as you can see right here there's also a glue seal right there but at the same time it would be nice to break it, but on my figure, it is very stuck on there, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to break it, but if you ever try breaking it, you know, let me know if, it, if it's an extra articulated point. But um, I'm pretty sure it is. All right, now we're gonna get into some size comparisons. As you can see right here, we have the new Movie Monster series, uh, Godzilla Final Wars, and we have the old Movie Monster series, Final Wars Gigan. And here he is next to the other Monster X figures that I have, the SH Monster X, uh, Monster X and the 8-inch old movie monster series, Monster X. So overall, um, in my opinion, this figure is honestly not that bad. You know, for the past couple years now, like even in the early days of like the Godzilla community, like the early 2000s and stuff, we've been wanting and asking for a 6-inch version of Monster X. Because at the time, there was only the uh, Gashapon figure of Monster X and the 8-inch the one, of course. So yeah, it took us, like, what, 2023, man. We're in 2023 right now, as of this video. It took us that long to finally get a good, decent, vinyl, 6-inch Monster X figure. So yeah, I highly recommend this figure to many Godzilla fans out there uh, that, are, that love Monster X or just, like, want to be a completionist like me, who both loves the movie and the monsters and everything else like that, so... <laughs> Yeah. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this short uh, tour review here. Tell me down in the comments down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you have the figure? What do you think of the figure? Uh, leave it down in the comments down below. 
So yeah, with that being said, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you guys in the next one, and sign off. Why? You tell me that. Why? Why? Why Japanese people?